hello everyone uh, today I am going to show you that how to run uh, some 16-bit programs in Windows 64-bit operating system see uh, nowadays uh, everybody is uh, migrating to 64-bit operating system because uh, size of the RAM is going high everybody is using 4 GB or 8 GB RAM and as you know uh, in 32-bit operating system, <coughs> when we when we use 32-bit 32-bit operating system like uh, Windows XP or Windows 7 32-bit, uh, any 32-bit, uh, it will support uh, only maximum to three uh, 2.9 GB or 3 GB of RAM. So for one GB of RAM is wasted. So that is why everybody is uh, now converting to 64-bit uh, operating system. But still now, all the students uh, who begin their careers in the software, um, everybody has to learn, go start with their C programs. Uh, so though we, nowadays we use um, many softwares like Visual C++ to write C programs or uh, what do you say, <coughs> uh, Co Code Lite, there are many programs, but still uh, many students like to use Turbo C. Uh, other you go, uh, which, which is a 16-bit program uh, and uh, there are also certain games uh, old games which uh, uh, many people like to play like uh, some uh, you see Wolfenstein 3D or some Mario or some old um, computer games which run do run in 16-bit uh, platform or 32-bit platform so <coughs> So uh, now we see in Windows 64-bit this type of uh, program is not supported. So for that uh, we will use here we will use a software called DOSBox, which is a very effective software which will give you, which is basically actually a, an emulator which will give you <coughs> uh, uh, environment where you can run your 16-bit programs. So to, to download this DOSBox, I am just giving you a link here. Uh, I will also uh, uh, what I will also give provide this link in uh, in um, in my comment portion in, or in my description portion. You can you can get this link there. So <coughs> through this link, you can download uh, the DOS box, and I'll show how to install it and use it. So <coughs> let's come here. I'll just paste this one here and the download will start uh, in a few moments. <coughs> so after downloading this, see. Uh, just download this uh, program and save it uh, somewhere in your computer. I'm just repeating it. Uh, it's already saved here, so I've already installed it, uh, downloaded it here. But still, I'll show you uh, how to download and install it and use it. So I'll download it in a separate location. Okay, it's downloaded. Now I'm going to install this one. There should be a desktop shortcut. So it will just overwrite because it is already installed here. doesn't matter so it is installed now now what we have we have a desktop shortcut now just double click in it see this is the DOS box so you can see it's uh, just give a virtual drive if you this uh, see this virtual drive see it has actually created a 16-bit uh, environment or you can see a 32 bit environment you can say uh, on that uh, uh, you see you it is loaded some old uh, 
OS kernel uh, software or kernel program which actually needed to run the 32 bit kernel so now what we'll do I will, we will just uh, run turbo C here okay I have turbo C on my C drive so <coughs> let's see so see there is no C drive so what I am going to do I will I'm going to write a command command called mount M O U N T mount C it is a virtual drive C which will uh, locate to C backslash TC see drive C is mounted as local directory on C colon C drive TC now when we write C colon it has uh, changed its drive to C now C this is actually a virtual drive which is not only C drive it is C, drive, C colon backslash TC so it is showing all the folders which is inside TC so I will just move to bin if you have uh, used turbo C and write TC C you can load new file you can write program and I can just uh, do one thing start dot C run program uh, one thing have can happen that you can uh, all the shortcuts will not work see it is running uh, keyboard shortcut may might not run but uh, other than that everything will do now I'll see there is a uh, also a program known as um, Wolf 3D if you have played with first time Wolf 3D which is also a uh, older game which is also older game uh, first what we will do we will try to run this program through <coughs> my Windows 8 and see what will happen I will run this one see this is Wolf 3D this app can't run on your PC <coughs> okay let's, uh, when you have come here let me show you also about uh, what happened to TC now let's move to TC just check it once this app cannot run on your PC so that is why we, we are using this DOS box so this is Wolf 3D it is under eGames Wolf so I will now I will just <coughs> create a uh, drive mount a drive virtual drive say mount e as e games <coughs> is mounted so just move to e colon change letter so these are see here is the wolf you can see the wolf is there uh, I hope you can see <coughs> see here is wolf so CD wolf <coughs> wolf 3D so you can see how <coughs> it is possible to run your old DOS program using DOSBox so uh, just download this DOSBox and enjoy your old uh, DOS based game if you like to play them or write some program on Turbo C or do whatever old program you uh, want to in your uh, new 64 bit computer enjoy it so I'll just give you the link uh, on my description portion you can download it from there <coughs> so this is all about DOSBox Thank you.